All right, guys, we're out here heading down to the riverbank. Uh, got the ultralight here. I ended up choosing the Nico Helgermite for my lure. It meets that weight. Got it Texas rigged with a small split shot. I love this setup. Let's go test this rod out, see if we can catch some rock bass or even a small mouth all right we're down here at the water let's see how well she casts oh yeah that's a smooth cast now all i'm gonna do is hop this along the bottom the water is actually up pretty high we had a lot of rain the last two days so not very surprising. We might throw an additional split shot on here. But for right now we're going to stick with what we got. And I'm just going to let that sink. After a couple of seconds I'm just going to hop it a little bit and give it some action. Man the sensitivity of this rod is amazing. You can feel stuff bouncing through the line there. I can feel the contact with the lure there on the bottom and all this rock. Once again, we're just drifting. I'm twitching the rod here and there to give that lure a little action. Mimicking a true Helgamite bouncing across the bottom hoping that rock bass or smallie will come along and investigate that looked like a hit right there got him at time Oh, drag a little bit loose. What we got here? Oh, rock bass. That's what we was looking for, guys. That rod did well. Look at that fat old rock bass. That's what we like. Side of the jaw there. There we go. Check that rock bass out, guys. <laughs> That's what we're targeting. Let's let him go. <laughs> Boy, it's fun. Let's see if we can pull another one out of there. Overall, the rod did good. Had to tighten my drag up just a little bit, get that better hook set. All right, I got hit multiple times. So I'm not for sure if there's another one laying out here or not, but we're gonna try. It could have just been the same one moving up and down. Once again, I'm just casting out there. I'm letting the flow of the water drift that floating bait. 
and that sinker is pulling my line down so that the face of that Helgramite looks like he's digging along the bottom there, like he's bottom feeding. And every now and then I just hop that line so that sinker pops up and doesn't get hung up in the rocks. And then I let it drift a little bit longer. Got a little bit of a hit. Let's re throw out there, see if we can get him to bite again. That was pretty nice. Felt good. Got him. We got right back. <laughs> I like how this reel handles the rod. Such an amazing amount of give and flexibility. Even with them super lightweight lures, I can feel so much going on distributes the weight very well now this is not a big old smallie by no means but the rock bass here are a little chunky boogers they get up to two and three pounds I believe right in the top of the mouth that's why they call them red eyes or rock bass Pretty little bugger. Let's let him go. Bite for another day. Now that's not the one that hit up top here. One up top here took it and just took off. I guess he just had the tail in its mouth. But he felt a lot nicer. Let's see if we can catch him. We might have found this little honey hole here. Got him. Look at that rod. Oh, he's nice. Got a little fight in him. As you can see, that rod and that reel is going well. Even in that current, which makes him feel a lot heavier. <laughs> oh, hey, you got a little fight left in him. Uh, there we go, a little bit better in length. Once again, I just got. I got four pound on. Couldn't find any two at my local Walmart, but two would have definitely made it a little bit better fight. Well, it's bigger than old still. Another nice little red eye, rock bass. About three quarters pound, I guess. <laughs> Boy, they're fun. Let's kiss him for good luck. All right. <laughs> Boy, it's fun fishing. Man, he nailed that Helgramite. Had it all twisted around that little hook. I failed him hit once and I missed him, but the sensitivity of this rod, I mean, this is crazy. Once again, I just I think I've got like a smaller offset wide gap hook. I've got my Nico Helgramite. Got a small split shot, about six inches up my line, and I'm just working the current, guys. 
had a lot of rain. It was raining earlier today. It's rained all week, basically. So the water's a little swift today. Not gonna complain, because we do need the rain. If you'll remember the last time we was here, the water was pretty low. Oh, got something. Oh, it feels a lot better. Oh, what do we got? Don't get us in that tree. Oh, no. It's got us in the tree. Come on, take us out, take us out. He's pulling whatever it is. We might actually have a smallie this time. He's got us hung up and he's in the current. All right guys, so I tried throwing that stick out there to push the line off the end of that tree, but it's too far cut in. I ended up snapping the line. The bass is still stuck there, but he's getting plenty of water through his gill plate. I'm just gonna see if I can make it down here without killing myself. line retied try to hook that line and pull him out this way definitely want to set him free small mouther beautiful in this area if this don't work I'm gonna try to Try to get a tr another tree branch. Here we go. We got him off. <laughs> Whew. I wish we could have got him up here for you guys to see, but we couldn't do that. I'm going to toy around a little bit and see if I could save that rig right there. If I could hook that hook, I might be able to pull that threaded line off and through. But we'll save some camera for that. Oh, did y'all see that? I can't believe we missed that. I mean, he come up to the top and he hammered it. We just pulled it right out of his mouth. We would have waited a second longer. Man, I bet we don't get a second shot at that one. Boy, that was exciting too. 
That might have been a smiley too. that one last cast and then you turn the camera off looks like a rock bass I can feel the way he's fighting yep there he is <laughs> another chunky rock bass Him right in the roof. Not bad, chunky little feller. See them mean red eyes? These boogers are fun to catch, especially on top water. <laughs> but it's pretty fun catching them on this lightweight gear. You feel like you're fighting a bass, like a large mouth, maybe even a small mouth. Now, I'm not for sure that was the same one because I got hit in three different spots. So I want to try one more cast. As the fishermen always say. We're just, we're, oh, look. Oh, dropped it. There must be stacked up over there on that ledge. But I brought my wading gear out of waiting out there. We'll give Alan one more cast for sure. Yep, there's two or three of them stacked over. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get them to bite. 